Alright, as we're back to play some more Banjo Kazooie Distracted. And, uh, well, I'm about where I left, so let's play. <laughs> I gotta show you something first. I won't use that for a while, but I gotta show it right there. This is a cauldron. Magic cauldron, you have to find two the same color to create a, a shortcut so you can teleport. Because when you save and leave the game. Uh, oh, I found a mambo token. When you save and, and leave the game, you actually restart from the bottom of the lair. So at the entrance of uh, Rondetta's lair. Uh, so if you got a long way to the top. Well, it's better. Oops. <laughs> It's better to uh, to have a quick way up there. For the the way is kind of it's kind of longish. Okay, so the second word is this way down there. Treasure Trove Cove. I could actually go in Clanker's Cavern right there, but I want to do this one first. No, I'm not sure Clanker's Cavern is open. Yet. Anyways, you do the flip-flap and you go in the chest. So uh, today I plan not to do uh, this whole world. Well, it's gonna be done in two episodes. There'll be two new moves for you to find. Okay, so I got something to show you. When you get in the water, uh, the exterior water in this level, you get chased by a shark named Snacker. So you gotta watch out, especially when gathering that ginger. You see the shark is there. Okay, so we're actually gonna come uh, very um, well. It's not gonna be the, the the only time we we get in this world. Also, gotta show you something. Oops. Gotta show you something there. You get a way to get two honeycomb pieces by uh, ground pounding the the crab. But if you kill it some other way, like throwing eggs or rolling on it, you get only one. So there are multiple ways to kill enemies, but some may give you more than uh, than others. Anyways, this is uh, Nipper. You want to fight this guy? So uh, basically, you're just gonna wait and you jump on him and uh, do the ratatat grab. And you do this three times, and he collapses in the shell, so we can go inside. Also, there's something behind the shell, I reckon. Anyways, there's a couple notes there, and uh, I, re I remember quite well that I used to never pick those because I, I didn't know how to beat Nipple, Nipper. It was quite a, a mess for me. <laughs> whoa, 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 I'm being killed all over the place there. Okay, so lots of crabs. Let's eat some crab dinner. Ha ha ha, that was a joke. There's the first Jiggy of this world, right there. Yay! Also, we don't have anything uh, more to do in this shell, so let's get out. So yeah, we're gonna come um, for other purposes in uh, Treasure Co Trove Cove, but I'm not gonna do this right there. I'm just gonna, gonna show the, the original Jiggy to get. But I'm not gonna show the codes because this is where the sand castle with the codes for the game is. So there's a, a shark, a shark pad. Okay, so let's learn the first move right there. What's up there? This is to learn to fly. Feathers to fly. I love the music when the, the feather talks. Anyways, this is your big chance, shaker legs. It's time for you to fly. So that's exactly the same motion as in the water. 
Oh, there's a Jinjo up this pole. Oops. <laughs> okay, so whatever. We're not going to fly yet because there are things to do in this place. Salty hippo, huh? Let's talk with Blubber, the, the burper. He lost his treasure. It's in the ship, so... Okay, so gotta find... Uh, also, I think there's something up there. Yup, I was right. Okay, so... Let's get in the ship. Uh, there's a hole there, you wanna ground pound. To break it, and get there. So that's what I did. Okay, so... Let's find some treasure. Don't forget to hold R and uh, press... Very silly sound for a treasure. Okay, so don't forget to hold R and uh, if you get some tight maneuvers, uh, you wanna hold uh, A. So you can maneuver easily. So uh, we've got nothing more to do in this place, so let's get out. We'll find the second entrance to the... Lover's ship. Actually, it's right there. I'm not gonna get bother for it right there. It's right uh, there. You see the window or the yeah the window. I guess. Also, don't forget the notes there. Easily, uh, you can easily mess on uh, on on those. That's not pretty bad. So this is not the the official water world. There there's another one. Actually there's two other ones. Two one one with a boat and the other with a kind of gloomy thing and well it's hard, it's hard uh, on the water. Used to hate them levels. And it's not an exception for this game. So yeah, uh, he's got his reward and gave us some gold. He wanted his treasure to trade for a treasure. I guess it's a fair trade. Okay, anyhow, we gotta find more stuff. I think I'll, I'll do the same castle pretty soon. Just quickly get them some notes up there. Of the palm trees. Just quickly get the notes. It's a good thing. Okay, there's actually a toaster there, or what you call a beehive. I always used to call them toasters, I don't know why. So, uh, there's some stuff happening up there. I guess we're going up there. So you climb the boxes there. Also, the music changes where, where depending on the place you stand in the map. That's, a, that's neat. Okay, so there's the shock pad. See the cavern over there? It's not, it's not over, uh, usually uh, rose up or open. It's actually a code to open it, but I won't get anything if I get there, so I won't bother with it. I w just wanted to point it out. It's a soap and swap, uh, you get a mystery egg, and it's a kind of easter egg. The turkey does all the work. <laughs> it's a chicken, it's a turkey, it's whatever. My energy is low, okay, thanks. Thanks, thanks a lot. I learned all the moves, yay. Okay, so I can now spring step, you just hold A on this panel. And this was actually a demo, but <laughs> I, I, I showed you how to get this. So there's a, a ledge there, you wanna get there, it's the only way to get there, so don't miss that. He doesn't want water, so you wanna give him some, uh, some eggs like this. And he's gonna drain the pound. Hey! So we drained up the town. The town. So there's the sand castle with the codes. You enter all the codes there. Can be useful actually. Uh, I wanna climb on the castle but I don't see it. Ah, there we go. There's some notes there, don't forget about them. Okay, so let's do the your thing here.
Actually, the puzzle here is not very hard. You just want to spell Banjo Kazooie without a certain amount of time. I used to spend too much time in this place <laughs> typing up codes because to to raise the the case there to uh, get all the the eggs and stuff like this the the. The hidden stuff that's not necessary to complete the game. Uh, you need the codes actually. Yeah, I don't know why one, how one could uh, could actually uh, get those codes without the help of uh, the the cheats and the power or things like that. Okay, so I beat it, so I gotta beat the crab now. So this guy takes a couple hits. I think it's two. There we go. Okay, so from now on, we can get all cheese there, but I'll cover that in a bonus episode at the end of this project. So uh, you want to check out for that while, while when we'll be there. I'll cover all the codes uh, you get from. Uh, doing the special game and all the codes that um, actually give you goodies either eggs, feathers, things like that or even uh, the Cheeto books, the uh, special eggs I'll, I'll cover that, okay also feathers there don't need that much so this I won't bother with that like I said like it's not necessary and it's it's empty anyways because uh, well, once you get the egg you got it for all the games it's unlocked for all the games and the uh, eggs remain permanently gone, uh, gone done and gone okay so this will be cover um, for another jiggy I will I will save some time there by just around picking up notes and don't worry about those pads I'll use them later okay so there's a box there, a, tre a treasure chest with, uh, with teeth. Let's see what's inside. Is there anything good inside? What is that? Open! Oh, eggs. Disappointing. Let me out! Okay, thanks. So, gotta find stuff actually. Okay. I think there's a jiggy down there. Oh no, that's a mambo token. There's no Mambo Hut in this uh, world. There, I, I think there's four in the game. And there's eight worlds. Or nine? Was it nine? Uh, I think it's nine. Yeah, it's nine, definitely. So there's uh... Well, I think there's five, actually. There's five of those. Five of those Mambo Huts that transform you. Pretty neat. Okay, there's a Jinjo over there on the ledge, let's get it. Oh, fell down. Now this is disappointing. Oh. Starting my, uh, my uh, reading break. We call that a spring break uh, in college and suddenly it's a reading break, I don't know why. Maybe it's more, uh, it, well, it just, it just looks better for the teachers to give that, like if you're, you, you're not losing your time or something like that, well, you're, you're losing your time anyways, because no one uh, ever reads this. Hey, why did you bite me? It's not kind of yours. Okay, anyways, uh, some notes there on the, the edge of the, the stairs there. Not a good place to uh, to put them there. Not a very good place, it's very dangerous. Okay, so let there. Gotta jump there and uh, do it a couple of series of jumps. Remember, if you fall in the water, you're being chased by a shark. So it's best to, uh, to stay on the, the ledges. Fall, uh, just run away the quickest way possible. Okay, so I'll show you where is the first um, honeycomb piece of this world. 
It's actually a very dangerous one to get. It's in the corner right there, but you're being chased by a shark, so... Maybe you can s get him stuck in the corner or something like that if you're lucky, but if not, you'll take a hit. Which is not that bad, uh, considering you're, you've, you've made all this distance in the water. Okay, so let's go this way. I'm not at the right place. <laughs> not at all. Okay, so... I'll go for the shock springs. There. So there, the trick is actually to jump down, then to go up, back up. There you jump up, get the notes. There's a Jinjo, yeah, there's, a, there's definitely a Jinjo over there. There you can just do it like this if you want. I'll get the Jiggy first, then um, I'll probably stop it there. It'll split it in half. I guess it's a good thing. So when we come back... Oh, we got six already. Okay, so when we come back, we finish this world. So this is Rocket Sign out and be back soon.